If you guys need coins, training, players, even your mutt levels grinding for you, make sure to check out my new sponsor's website, MrMuttCoin.com. Use code Mike at checkout for 25% off. Ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Madden 20's No Money Spent. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a new initiative that EA put into the game. I like to call it the Mutt Stimulus Package. Essentially, it's a way to earn a lot of coins very very easy so as you guys can see right here uh, under the missions tab there's a mission that says stay home play together so there's six missions in total win seven games in solo battles win seven games in head-to-head -head seasons win seven games in squad seasons win five games in weekend league and win ten games in weekend league now each of these individual missions will give you a coin reward or a pack reward so for example a very very easy one is win seven games in solo battles battles if you do that you get two elite player packs it's pretty sick that's definitely nice and something that's pretty darn easy to do the next one win seven games in head to head seasons that gets you a two times game changer pack let's say you want to win seven games in a squad season that gets you a game changer pack and an elite player pack now this is where it gets pretty darn cool in my personal opinion win five games in weekend league that gets you fifty thousand points Five games in Weekend League out of 25 is not difficult. Not difficult whatsoever. And then there is win 10 games in Weekend League, and that gets you another 50,000 coins. So in total, you could earn 100K just by winning 10 games in Weekend League. 10 out of 25 at this point in the year. It's not difficult. It's really not that hard. And then let's say hypothetically, you won seven games in solo battles. That gets you a two times elite player pack. So I'm not gonna lie. You could walk out of here every single week with 100K and two elite packs. You barely have to play the game. I mean, maybe like, an hour or two a day not even that maybe like an hour a day and what you guys can see on your screen right now is the rewards that i have gotten for completing my solo battles now my rewards are not going to be great but i did get an elite player back at least two of them for completing the seven solo battle games and then we also just got the regular basic rewards so honestly i mean it's it's pretty good it's definitely worth it and if we look at our item binder here we have a 50,000 coin quick sell and another 50,000 coin quick sell that is from winning five weekend league games and then 10 weekend league games that is 100,000 coins now i also still have 1500 coins for every single one of my wins I, i'm pretty sure i just won 10 games and i stopped playing because Mentally, I just couldn't do it. But like you guys see here, these are the coin rewards that we have. So again, that's just 122K for winning 10 weekend league games. That's not even mentioning the rewards that I'm gonna get later in the week. And I'm definitely just gonna take the quick sells because I'm not trying to get packs and waste the coins, waste the potential for coins. So we're gonna go ahead and quick sell that right here. And boom, 122,000 coins. This is the rewards that we got for going ahead and completing the solo battles. 40 series six trophies not terrible and then we got 33,000 coins so we're walking out of here with damn near 150k and like i said that's not to mention the the gridiron pack the two elite player packs and then the basic solo battle rewards packs so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open uh these three packs right here and then i'm just gonna take the core rewards uh for these two just because I, I don't know man I'm, I'm really not trying to to waste the opportunity of getting coins at this point so we're gonna open up this grid iron pack. Hopefully we can get something halfway decent out of here. Maybe, uh, okay, I was gonna say a mid elite and that is that is exactly what we got. We got an 86. Next card up is going to be a 79 overall. Maybe a low elite, 86, okay. I can dig it and our last one is a gold. So that was actually, that was a decent pack. Free pack, I will take it. All right, now we have our two elite player packs. As you guys can see right here, there are two elite player packs. So we're gonna open up the first one. These are guaranteed elite players. Hopefully they're not shitty elite players. We are going to see. The first card is going to be a 78 overall. That is a gold. Here is the elite, maybe something good. 87, that's not bad. Another elite card is gonna be an 80 Jordan Reed. So again, elite player pack, that is free. It's not horrible. I'll take it. And our last and final elite pack of the video. Please give me something. Oh, Redux. Redux. And we get a 90 Bryce Callahan. Okay. All right. I see you, EA. 
That's pretty good. That's definitely pretty good as we get a veteran's card, 86 DRC, another elite out of this, and 80 D Ford. Okay. This is free cards. This is free cash, literally. And now we have a Hail Mary packs. Literally nothing ever comes in these. Yeah, pretty much nothing. If I pull an elite out of a Hail Mary pack, I will give somebody $50. There's no way it's happening. Bro, why does that happen every time? Bro, that literally happens every time. Fuck it. Okay, well, I guess, you know what? Drop a like down below. Uh, leave your Twitter in the comment section. And I'll pick somebody to, to give $50 to. God damn it, dude. What the heck? All right, like I said, with these, I, I would just take the packs, but I'm, it's just such easy coins. I'm going to take the quick sell. I know it's kind of a it's kind of a dumb move. It's, it's not a super fun move, but I have packs here, and I need coins, man. I need coins for golden tickets. So just like that, we were able to uh, acquire a lot of coins and, and a lot of rewards just by playing the game. So this is something that I would very much suggest that you guys do, that you guys take a part of, especially with this quarantine stuff. I mean... You guys should have the opportunity if you're still mentally in the headspace to play Madden at this point in the year. All right, so my current offense did change just a little bit, just slightly. So if you guys can see on the right here, my X factors are DeAndre Hopkins, Bo Jackson, which is a new player, and Kyler Murray. Not really new, but I'm using abilities on him. I'm trying to run the football a little bit more. I forgot how goddamn easy this game is when you have a good running back. And Bo Jackson's definitely a good running back. And then over here on the defensive side of the football, really nothing has changed. Nothing really needs to change at this point. I really do enjoy my team. I hope Mel Blunt gets an upgrade because he, he kind of gets burnt over the top a lot. I like Nitrain, though. Nitrain's a good DB. All right, so we have our brand new season. And you know what? With the brand new season, we need to get new uniforms. What am I doing here? You know what? We're going to go decide what uniforms we want to wear. I don't know why. Maybe it's the fact that Tom Brady's now on the team, but... I kind of like these Buccaneers unis. I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use the Buccaneers unis for this season. Again, hopefully y'all have been enjoying the videos. If you have, make sure to drop a like down below. This is the most consistent I've probably been all year. I think I've uploaded for damn near a month straight. I've been having a lot of fun. I'm gonna just continue to do it. I've been enjoying the creativity that I've been doing, the different types of videos with no money spent. So again, if you like seeing that, if you want to see that more, hit the like button, drop us up, whatever you gotta do. My songs go pop, pop, pop. What makes you think? I'm not okay with that. I took my backpack off, off, off. Ready to change the game and run the track. Y'all thinking I'ma fall off? I'm Thomas the Itch. Two seconds, you get your rocks off. That's why they said you're all soft. So I paint over the scene like I'm Bob Ross. I got weed songs. If you smoke good, I got peace songs. If you ain't so hood, that you can't kick it. Get it. Have a party. Oh shit, homie, don't hurt. Alrighty, my opponent has Jadavion Clowney. I just kind of knew he would have him. He's also got the brand new Randall Cunningham, so this is going to be an interesting one. He's got a beast on offense and a beast on defense. All right, time to see how much of a sweat this man is. And all right, he's already coming out in the big dime. I am not surprised. I am not surprised whatsoever. We're probably going to be facing a lot of this this season again. All right, we're going to move some guys around. Hopefully, maybe, just maybe, get the time in the pocket so that we can go deep here. Looks like we are. I'm going to throw that one. I think we got it. I'm rack catching. DeAndre Hopkins going all the way. That's a touchdown, bro. Oh, my God. I love this playbook. I love it. Yo, you can't tell me these Bucks unis aren't fire. These shits are fire. Gun heavy Panther. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This is going to be interesting. I feel like he's going to be trying to go crazy with Randall Cunningham, and that's exactly what he's doing. I got to turn, like, strip ball and aggressive or something. Gun a slot for my opponent. Does he run this? Does he pass it? Looks like he's going to pass corner route, maybe underneath. Nope, he went with a delay route. It's actually a fire route concept. Second down and two. Where are you going, brother? That is not open. That is not open. He's throwing that one. I am there. Oh, my God. How do we not pick that? All right, he is going to pass this one. He's going to roll out to the left side. He is throwing that one up. I am there. Oh, Jesus. How do we not get the pick again? Gun heavy Panther. I'm going hard flat so they get to the outside. Please get there. Hit stick him. Hit stick him. He fumbled. Oh, that was it. That was the opportunity right there. And he picked it up. All right, please get him. Hit stick. Hit stick. He's going to go inside. He fumbled and we picked it up. Oh, let's go, baby. Good freaking plays. Just like that, we got a stop. Now we're going to try to run it here with Mr. Bo Jackson. And you know what? I'm going directly up the middle. I think that we should get pretty decent blocking. It was all right. We got insta it up the middle. All right, we're going to motion out Devin Hester like this. Hopefully, we got the time. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. 
You guys wonder! You wonder what ability I have on him! Oh my god, I'm gonna insert a clip that I'm gonna show at the end of the game, and it's gonna go right here. I'm gonna sh Oh, he might just quit. This guy might just- Oh, he's so sick. He's sick to his goddamn stomach. All right, so I want to show you guys what ability I have on Kyler Murray that makes him do this. This is future Mike talking, by the way. Everybody always told me, Mike, put on dashing, put on roaming, whatever. I like anchor and extender. Now, the reason why I use this is because if you take a look here, it says higher chance to break the first sack by a blitzing DB. Everyone wants this big dive where the DBs come in and they try to sack me. Well, there's a lot of times where I'm in a situation where I cannot be sacked. And with this ability, Kyler Murray breaks the sack almost every single time if it's just one person right there it was one person we spent we we, we we took our time and we threw a touchdown just like that all right my guy's gonna motion john brown over probably a slant route that is not open he wants to probably go deep he is gonna throw it deep i have people there and that is taylor mace that's an interception all right we're gonna stop we got a reverse field we got a reverse field there we go taylor there we go we're gonna cut in front we're gonna cut in front of this guy go like that taylor mace Taylor freaking Mays! Holy shit, what a return. All right, I'm going back to it. He motioned some guys around. I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to try to juke inside and nowhere. Yeah, dude, this guy's locking up the run. I'm going to go 17-0. I literally don't care. Oh, boy. My opponent's coming out in wildcat. He's got Devin Hester. Yo, I commend this guy for the type of plays that he runs. I definitely like him. He's going to spin back, and I think we got guys there. I mean, unless you have human joystick or evasive, that's not going to work super well. The run defense has actually been pretty darn good. He's going to probably try to go streak route. Please hit stick him. Let's go. Good freaking play, Pat Tillman. Oh, my God. He's going to pike it. What was that? I had so many guys in the line of scrimmage. He hiked it and most definitely did not get it, and I think he might be rage quitting. Dude, this is one of the best performances I've had offensively and defensively in a while. And yeah, there we go. He quit. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And guys, I will see you at my next upload. Peace. I'm so